Hello everyone, and welcome to my first redstone episode. But today I'm going to show you the redstone of Bumpkin Farm. It's a really simple farm, pretty compact, and it actually relies on pistons pushing the pumpkins or the melons to this water stream, which will take them to here. To show the machine in action, you just need to press this button and everything will come as you can see I got about six pumpkins seven and four eight pumpkins and forty melts there are some spills in the machine and sometimes as some pieces stay out of the out of the water stream but mostly they stay on the water stream if it is if you're doing pumpkins it m basically always stay on the water stream but the melons when they got pushed when they get pushed by pistons let me show here uh, when they actually get pushed by pistons they pop off many melons and this actually makes some get out of the water stream. The machine is stackable, so this means you can put as many layers as you want. Here I have a copy of four layers, but you can expand this as much as you want. I, I'm gonna show you how on the tutorial. To build the machine, you're gonna need an area of land of six by five. For making the series a bit different, I decided I'm going to allow you to choose if you want to see the tutorial block by block or layer by layer. And so just press the links on screen, they will redirect you to the point of the video where the tutorial you want will be shown. To start building, what you actually need to do is to get an arch like this, Sorry. an arch like this, and let's pretend here is the ground level, and then you're gonna put this sticking up, some torches here, redstone here, and an block place the block by the side of the redstone like this here too oops and then you're gonna put torches on the side of the block and you're gonna put block here and redstone on it on top of it and a repeater here that will actually get the power from this redstone and lead it to another pile of torches and then you put that zone here and block here that zone torch another block here that zone torch so basically this the both sides are mirror and they're it's really easy to build really easy to understand then you're gonna Put another block on top of the starch and put a torch here and do the same on the other side. Now, I'm only going to show you how to build one layer here, but I'm going to show you how to stack more layers. So, for the first layer, I'm going to put a row of The, you're gonna put this row here and you're gonna put block here and the water stream will be directly here now you're gonna notice the water is actually getting out of it and to correct this you just need a pressure plate and it's really simple 
Now the water is not out of it anymore. Now, what I need to do is to get our business, place it on the side of this torch, and then on the side of the other business, and do the same on the other side. Now, your machine is mostly done. Um, and now what you need to do is to plant to plant a glowstone here or a torch you can choose but I prefer the glowstone look and then you're gonna plant your machine your seeds sorry plant your seeds on the corners like this At last, you're gonna put your button here, and you're gonna press the button and you see that it's working perfectly. If you want to speed up the process, you can get some bone meal and use it in the seeds. These seeds are only melon, of course, you can plant pumpkins here too, but now the machine is working. To stack another layer, it's really simple. You just need to get one block apart from this. You're gonna get some dirt. And place it directly on top of here. Now, you're gonna simply put a stone here. And for this layer it's already complete and a stone here and some torches and if you only want two layers you don't need this torch but if you want to expand more you just need to put a block here and then put this and then put your pistons there now you can put pistons here too and you can mirror it on the other side. As I said, you don't actually need these top blocks here if you only want two layers, but if you want more than two layers, you will need it. You branch off. So, now you just put place on this side of this. And now you place a stone here and a glowstone here. Oops. Or a torch as I said before. So now you can press the button and see that the top layers will be fine. If you only want two layers you can remove this and remove this torch. And it'll still work fine. And um, so what's left for you to do is to plant oops to plant the seeds where you like them to be. I mean I mean no no I, oh no sorry. Uh if you want to expand in more layers you're gonna have to destroy this water, get a sign um, sign And a water bucket. And you're actually gonna place it then on the top layer, like here. And place a sign here. Actually, you need to update them, otherwise, the stream will be going weirdly. Now, you can also do uh, what you can also do is to fill this in and then make it looks more neat. Not sure if it does affect on something, but I prefer it like this. But here you have two layers of the machine to make it taller. Put torches on and do the whole process again. 
Uh, oops. Oops. <laughs> okay. He's back again. Okay, so this is the actual machine. Uh, only two layers of it. But what you can do now is customize it with any blocks you want. You don't need to use stone exactly. You can put, for example, some glass. If you had more layers, I mean, up here. You could actually see the other layers. You can change it to torches. You can actually combine two machines with this. And instead of instead of having this water end up here actually go with it for example to here and join it here with another machine of these or another other machine for me machine and you can actually sh if you don't if you don't like the place the button is you can actually change it to many other places you can put it on your side or for example here on your side you can put you just need to convert it and invert it what string to here you can actually uh, you can actually put a block here and this here and then the button here and it still work fine and yeah but if you want it most compact just do this it uses one more torch but not much what you can also do is to get it really compact also is this really simple but you can do whatever you want I personally prefer this matter because uh, you can let this be higher actually um, what you could actually do is yeah basically this so now let's go to the layer by layer tutorial for the layer by layer tutorial first I'm gonna show you how to build the first layer of the machine um, the first section I mean and then how to m build the other sections that you can actually put on top of the first one to make the machine bigger to start off you can now put blocks like this uh, for the for dirt and for that here, a repeater, a redstone, and here too. Uh, a block here, block here, and block here. With torches on these blocks at. For a second layer, you're gonna put three blocks here and one here. And you're gonna put redstone here. Block here with a torch on it. A glowstone or a torch, a normal one. You can decide it, but I prefer the glowstone look. You're gonna put a block and a torch, and redstone here too. And then you're gonna put these two pistons. And that's basically layer two. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, layer one, you put this pressure plate here. Okay, for layer three, you're gonna need to put one block here, and between the two in between two redstones that you're gonna put now two and then a block here and here with torch on its end and it's gonna power this redstone that's gonna power this repeater <laughs> that's gonna power this and now it's on the activated mode mode but you're gonna invert the signal after um well and this basically this layer and uh, for the next layer, you're gonna put a block here, two, 
redstone torch on it and a button and the basic layer or the first command layer is complete for the other layers that you're gonna stack on top of this one you are gonna put first a block here a block here a red uh, dirt stripe here the four blocks another dirt stripe four blocks here then a block here on each end with a torch then you're gonna put a block here for the second layer block here and here with redstone on torches on its end uh, the two pistons on both sides a block here with a redstone torch on its end a block here with a redstone torch on its end and for the last layer you're gonna only put a block here and one here with a redstone torch on both ends and this is basically complete now some things you need to keep in mind is you're actually gonna need water and after you stack all the layers on the last layer you can take this torch off and this block and this torch off only on the last layer if you're not gonna build anymore you can take these out because they're not gonna be needed and also on the last layer you're gonna put a sign on here and a water source here this concludes our tutorials on melons and pumpkins farm um, here we have both tutorials um, say what you think in the comments rate high the video and if you really like the video feel free to subscribe this was Valver and I hope I see you next time